Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to go up to Canada and uh, do a RIP episode. Uh, Raymond DeFoss, the uh, legendary cocaine trafficker, number two man in the West End gang, top level associate to both the Rizzuto mob and the Hells Angels, has passed away at 73. He battled cancer for the last three or four years and was actually, from what I can understand, was running his drug empire from like a nursing home um, and was a guy that was active almost to the very end of his life. He took a pinch back in 2023 when he was on his last legs. And um, I believe he's been free uh, altogether since the 2010s. Uh, he did a, a, a lengthy like a 12, 13 year prison sentence for a handful of murders and drug trafficking. So this is a guy that was an earner and a hitter. Um, and he was really at the forefront of brokering a business relationship between the Sicilian Rizzuto mob and the Hells Angels before Greg Picasso Wool uh, Woolley was making a reputation as, you know, the, the, the consummate, uh, Canadian gangland dignitary that knew how to work with both groups. Uh, DeFoss was doing the same thing like 20 years before that. Uh, he came up in the 1970s uh, in the West End gang. He's French Canadian, but the West End gang, for people that know Montreal, is the Irish mob, uh, and was very close to Dooney Ryan, who was the you know the, the Irish godfather for most uh, for 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 the entire 70s and most. Uh, most of the first half of the 1980s until he was assassinated in 1984. Uh, and then Dooney's right-hand man and second in charge, Alan the Weasel Ross, who eventually took over. Uh, DeFoss was, became Alan Ross's second in charge. For all intents and purposes, he was the, the underboss of the West End gang, the Irish mob, um, and was doing all of the liaisoning with the Rizzutos. He was working with a guy named uh, Smiling Joe DiMallo, who was a very close lieutenant and capo under Vito Rizzuto, who turned on Vito Rizzuto when Rizzuto was in prison. And then within a couple of weeks of Vito Rizzuto coming out of prison in 2012, DiMallo was gunned down. But that that had been uh, DeFoss's you know, contact point with the Rizzutos. Uh, DeFoss was very involved in the Great Quebec Biker War of the 1990s. He um, sided against the Hells Angels and was uh, backing the rock machine. And when he was convicted, uh, they claimed that he was a part of uh, at, least a ha at least a dozen homicide conspiracies. And I've heard other people say, you know, two dozen. But a number of those murders were tied to the great Quebec biker war where he was funding the rock machine in their war and, and funding hitmen that were doing hits on behalf of the rock machine targeting Hells Angels members and affiliates. I know Bobby Savard was one of the main, uh, one of the big murders in that conflict that he, that uh, DeFoss was allegedly behind. Um, so, it's a, uh, you know, in, in terms of the West End gang and, you know, true, you know, gritty, hard nosed, but still slick and sophisticated uh, mafiosi. It's a sad day in Canada. Everyone's saying goodbye to uh, Raymond DeFoss, who passed away just a couple days ago. 73 years old, came from the Three Rivers area and controlled that, uh, all this cocaine operations from the, uh, I'm going to butcher this, but the, the, the Trois Rivieras, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> in American, it's Three Rivers. Uh, but, you know, this guy was was really respected and was able to kind of come back into the Hells Angels' good graces after he had opposed them in, in, the, in the Quebec Biker War. So, and this was a guy that was, again, uh, you know, doing his, you know, flying his, his uh, craft and, and a part of his, his cocaine trade until the very end. So 
We'll be back up with some more information on what's going on in the Canadian underworld because there's always something popping off right now. Multiple wars haven't stopped. Hells Angels, Rizzutos, still at each other's throats. We'll have more information coming up in the near future. Please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, spread the word about OG Pod and uh, the fact that we, we're bringing you the latest breaking news across North America, uncovering the underworld. And we got a Patreon coming out. And we're going to be premiering this Wednesday. Uh, every Wednesday, we are going to be doing about an hour to two hours of, of live content where we can interact and, and take questions and answers. So come join the Patreon. It's 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 painless. So about five bucks a month, and you'll be getting a lot of a lot more content, a lot of a lot of exclusive content. But you'll also be getting content on YouTube. We're not going away. We're still going to be giving you YouTube content for free. So please check it out. OG Pod Scott Bernstein.